In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make banners. So to make banners, you're going to need two things. You're going to need the two websites I'm going to show below here. You're going to need Canva.com and TinyPick.com. So two of the things you need to have in order to make the banners. Of course, there's other ways you're able to make banners, but this way is a free way that you can use to make banners. Now, TinyPick.com is going to be the place where your banners are going to be hosted. So that's all it is. And these are both free sources that you could use to start making your banners. So what you want to do is log into Canva.com. So there's going to be a link below. You can definitely click and get logged in. Create an account in Canva, and then you can log into your account. When you log into your account, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. But before we do that, let me show you what we're going to go do. We're going to go make a banner that you can put on IBO Toolbox at the very top. Now, there's different things you can make for IBO Toolbox. You can make the, this banner. You can make a banner that's about this size. This is 250. Or you can make a banner that is, and I'm going to show you what that banner looks like. A banner that looks like this. It's a smaller size. So there's three sizes you can make. The 468 by 60, the 250 by 250, or the 728 by 90. So usually before you make a banner, you want to figure out what size you need to make because different sites are going to require for you to put different banners on there. But for IBO Toolbox, we definitely want to take advantage of this very top spot right here, and that's the banner we're going to go make. So if you hit Create New, what that's going to tell you is the kind of banners that you can place on this platform. So you can see there's a 728 by 90, and that's the one we're going to go ahead and make in Canva. So when you go to Canva and you log in, you're not quite on this page. This is one of the pages. Just, just for example here, I want to show you um, what you're able to make. So I've made these banners, the 728 by 90, from the same banner. So I use one, and then I just tweak it up a bit by changing the words on it to test it. So you could do the same thing as well. As you, as you can see, this is pretty simple. Now once you log into Canva, we're going to tell it what we want to make. So you're going to go and tell it you want to make a custom design because you want a special dimensions of it. And you're going to type 728 by 90. You're going to leave PX and then you're going to hit design. When you hit design, it's going to bring up a little window. This little box here is going to tell you that's what the banner should look like. This is all you can write in. So everything you put in here is going to show as the banner. Just like how you see it here, everything I put in this spot, that's what the banner is going to look like. So now you want to go edit it. Now to edit your banners or to create a banner, you use these things on the side here. So you could put elements, text, background. Now we're going to go make a simple um, banner. What I suggest you do is definitely come back here and use all these functions and see how they work. But to give you the basic overview of how this works, just go ahead and click background and maybe pick a color like, say, let's pick a black color just for, to keep a black template. And now just go put some words on it. Just hit the word T for text and just go add an, a headline there. Now you can see the box here, it has the fonts and everything, and then it has up here, you could definitely toggle along and change things. So I'm going to move the text so it fits in the box, because everything that's in the box, that's what's going to be shown. And if you want to make the text a little bit longer or shorter, then you use these toggles to toggle them in and out. So I think I, my text is going to be about that long. I'm going to delete what's in there now and put whatever I want in there. So I'm going to say best business in 2018 and you can see that it wrapped it around so now I'm going to go ahead and try and make sure it shows there so now I could actually change the font if I don't like the font so I actually am going to go change the font and we could make it something like this so whatever you like and that looks decent to me so I kind of like that, so I'm going to leave it as is. The next thing you could do is say you want to put pictures in there. It says search images. I could say I want to search money. And you can see it brings up different images. You could do photos. But keep in mind that there's some things that are free on here and some things that are paid. 
So I stick with the three ones, and I like this um, symbol right here. So I can, you can just take it, drag it, and drop it wherever you want it. So you see it's dropped right there. So because it's there, I'm going to move the text over a bit so it's not on that at all. And that looks perfect. So if you want to jazz it up some more, say that you want to change the color of the text, you could just highlight the color of the text here. So you could highlight it. And once you highlight, you could change the color um, to whatever you want. You could use this plus button to engage the color wheel. And then you could, you know, move things around and see what color. So you see the color up here and just test and see which color you like. So if that's the color you like, fine. If it's not, then you could definitely change it. And there's also keys at the very top that lets you undo what you've done. So you could undo it and get back to the plane and then start over. So I'll leave it like that for now. But you know what? I also like this right here. So I'm going to take that picture and put it on there. Now you notice when I put the picture on there, it covers the words. So I don't want it to cover the words. So this is how you could, um, you know, really jazz up your, um, your banners here. You could actually put the text behind the words and let the money become the background. So all you need to do is click on it to make sure it's engaged. And then click on Arrange and hit Back. When you hit back, you notice the picture went below or below the words. And so now I could draw, drag the picture here, and now it will become the background of the entire banner. So now you can see that looks pretty neat. So this is how you, you're able to stand out in your business. So in Best Easy Work with folks, say, you know what? It's so saturated. Everyone's promoting it. This is the thing. Everyone is not going to be promoting it like you are. And this is how you're going to separate yourself out and get lots of people resonate with your advertising and marketing because you're going to be so different. So that's why I suggest that, you know, you definitely come here, learn this skill so you could, you know, be different in your marketing. And that's where you're going to attract a lot of folks. Now, I'm just going to change the um, color on here so it shows up much better with the background there. So I actually don't like the color there, but I mean, you get the gist of how this is done. You just come here, you know, play around, mess with things a bit, and let's see. That is looking pretty good. You know what? I'll leave it just the way it is. So this looks pretty decent. And once you create the ad, banner ad that you like, you're just going to go ahead and download it. And you'll notice that to download it is these buttons up here. Now keep in mind, whatever you start calling it, that's what's going to save that. So just make sure you look for it. So I'm going to put this as best, best biz. So that's what I'm going to call it. So when I download it, that's what I'm going to be looking for. And you're just going to download this to your computer. And once you hit download, it's going to suggest that you... Um, now it's saying... I have multiple pages here, so let me show you what that means. So here's the thing. If you want to um, download this, we'll download it, but this has two pictures in it. So I'm going to go get rid of this one because I just want to download one. Now let's say you like this and you want to just change up the copy. You can hit copy here, and then you could change the wording on here, maybe change the pictures on here, and this will then create you a brand new banner that you could use. and um, compare each other on the platform but for now I don't want to do that so I'm going to delete this and just stick with this one so I'm going to go hit download with this one keep it as, as a PNG hit download when it downloads you're going to go to tinypick.com um, so I'm going to head there now so it's downloaded I'm going to head to tinypick now what you want to do at tinypick is you want to choose file, so you want to go on tiny pick, hit upload, choose file, and then I call that best biz. So you can see that I found it from my computer. So the upload button allows you to go find it. When you find it, just click upload. It's going to take a little bit to upload. Now it might ask you to answer a question once you do, you hit upload. When it uploads, you're going to get a field that looks like this. 
and all you want to do is copy the direct links for layout. You're going to copy the direct links for layout and go back to IBO Toolbox and this is what you're going to place in that box. So you're going to hit create new ad and when you hit create new ad you want to click on create new 728 by 90 and then you want to call it whatever you want to call it so you can remember it. So I'm going to call it DEW45. For the website link, you want to put the website you want to advertise. For me, it's always my um, lead capture page. So that's what I'm going to put on this here. So my website is the... And then for the graphic URL, that's where you want to put the tiny picked URL that you got for layout. So you want to copy this and actually put it on tiny pick for layout. When you do, you just tell IBO Toolbox where you want to place it. Of course, I want to place it at the top of my of the IBO Toolbox, um, the very top. And then you're just going to hit Save. Now, once you hit Save, it's going to populate on the advertising section. So I'm just going to make sure I'm going to go back to my ads to make sure it added it, just to refresh the page. And then you can see BEW45 I just created is 728 by 90. And you can see if I hit preview, right, that's the ad we just created on Canva. So that's as simple as it is. It's very exciting to be able to make your first banner. Now once you make your banner, make sure that you, you know, have the impressions. If you don't have impressions, hit, make sure you, you get some credits. So you either surface to get, not even surf to get credits. You do, do want to do the daily activity so you can get some credits. And then you're going to hit convert credits. And then under convert credits, under convert credits, you just got to click the drop down menu, convert how many credits you want. It's going to tell you how many impressions, and you hit convert credits. Then you can go back to the ads. And then you want to make sure you have enough credits, right? You want to make sure you have enough impressions that now you could turn it on. And now your your banner ads will be live. So now when people see your banner ad at the very top of IBO Toolbox, so yours will be rotating at the very top here. And what it does is going to take away the impressions. But as you can see, very simple process to make a very beautiful banner that really anyone could do. So this is how you stand apart in your best easy work business. You need to be learning new things and developing your marketing skills, you know, because only you could be you. And you probably have ideas in your head saying, you know what, this would be a good marketing thing, but I don't know how to do it. Now you do. So go out there, just start making, you know, banners, make a couple, and, you know, don't even worry about how polished they are or how pretty they are. It really doesn't matter. As you can see, um, banners get the most impressions. Compared to listings, when you advertise with banners, they usually get a lot more conversions than the listings. So this is a great way for you to start um, advertising your business um, in a very different way that separates you out from the masses. And this is not the only platform you could place your banners on. You could certainly place them on any other site that allows you to place banners. So you could even come here and create, you know, um, 468 by 60, you know, the smaller one. So if an advertising source call for a smaller banner, you could definitely come back here and under custom dimensions, create a 468 and the height would be 60 banner, hit design, and now you have the template to make a whole new banner. You can see that this side is going to allow you to make a smaller 468 by 60 banner. So that's how you create a banner. Um, go ahead today and definitely try and make a couple banners. Upload them on best, uh, the Best Easy Work banners on IBO Toolbox. Definitely get some credits and then let those run and then kind of test which one is doing better. If that one's doing great, just go ahead and place it as many sites as you can place your banners.